Yay, the candy chat. My level of excitement is through the roof. Oh, man. I used to. This map, like when it first came out, wow. It was so good. I'm not talking I'm not talking about old Vikendi like the original. I'm talking about this map when it came out. It was freaking fire. Wow. Look at that zone. I personally didn't like old Vikendi. Not at all. But when this map came out, I thought it was awesome. You don't see any of these gimmicks like on Erangel, right? And Erangel's great. No thermals, no insane quadruple billion jillion drops like on Tego. Security rooms, thermal scopes, bears, the labs. I didn't get one crate weapon or a three helmet. I mean, that's why I came here for that stuff. If that's how the loot normally would be, I'd be cool with these bear caves. <laughs> the bears killing people. Caution, bear are in the area. What's worse to be in your area? Bear or black pink? Will this thing kill me? set up he had the thermal oh man what oh he's moving i just couldn't see him this poor guy Oh, really poor guy. <laughs> Holy headshot. What'd he hit me with? So what, is the other guy just hiding in the building? He is, the other guy's on fire. And the last guy is behind the building. <laughs> Super cheesy. Yeah. Oh. Mister, I'm sorry. The thermal is so dumb. Mister, if you see this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I feel like most people would also feel the same. That if somebody is actually legitimately good at the game and you try hard and you get better skills, you should perform better in the game. That's how most video games work, right? Why would someone want to invest more time in a video game if the ratio of amount of time you spend in a game doesn't translate into a, a vast, large, larger percentage of winning? Why, why do people want to invest time in a game like that? Every single game that people invest time in, it's because the more they play, the better they get and the more they win. But when you play a game that, um, the more you play, it doesn't matter. You can still just get screwed over and over again because of things that have nothing to do with you. People don't like that <laughs> and they get pissed and they don't want to play anymore. If you play Apex and you play Apex more and more and more and more, you get better, you get better. And the really good players can pretty much win on command. You know, like Imperial Hal in Apex. You take Imperial Hal and you put him up against a guy who's brand new in the game. He'll never kill him. And when I say never kill him, I'm saying never kill him. But 
in PUBG, the way that PUBG is, a brand new player, and then you could take one of the best players in PUBG, right, Tiggleton? A brand new player has a chance to kill Tiggleton, whether it's pure luck or whatever it is. No matter how hard you try and, and try to get better and better at PUBG, you can always get screwed. That's not a good thing, in my opinion. I don't think that's a good thing at all. I think that's a bad thing. How do you fix that? By taking away some of the, a lot of the randomness, making it so that people can strategize and make things more skill-based than luck-based. Like get rid of things like the red zone. Yeah, Nufasa says I get players' frustrations, but games like this would be completely dead without casual players. As a matter of fact, I would almost disagree with that. The only people that are playing this game that are left are people who are super sweaty. The casuals are gone, man. That's why there's only like 5,000 people playing this game in North America now. <laughs> Bro. The casuals are gone, my friend. What is the reason to grind a game, right? Like, do you want to get better? You want to win? Like if there's a ranking system, you want to improve your rank, you know, things like that. But when there's a lot of luck involved, it will get frustrated because they're trying to better themselves. And if they feel like they can't better themselves because luck is impacting that, that's like Apex's skill-based matchmaking is amazing. You get into a game, you play against players that are of your similar skill level, you start grinding, you get better, you get to a higher rank, and then you're playing against people in that rank. That's just how it works. PUBG, there's none of that. People always wonder, they're like, man, I'm a brand new player. How come I'm getting stuffed in lobbies with all these good players? That's well, because there's no one playing. Because <laughs> there's not enough players. So they just have to shove everyone in the same lobbies. Doesn't make, it just, it doesn't add up. So, you know, new players that come back, like that guy that I just killed right there, they're probably like, where the hell did that guy come from? How did he spot me? I'm sitting in a building. What's going on? But like, you know, I have the game sense to know that I heard his, his over under shotgun shot from Mansion, saw him in the kill feed, and I knew that he was here. And I get it, right? There's, there's a bunch of people that are like, well, just get good then. It's like, well... If there's no room to get good because everyone that's playing is so good that you just have to basically spend your first 500 hours just dropping and getting blasted that's not fun and video games are supposed to be for fun chat so i don't blame people for not wanting to put in the time to get good that's why people are leaving man that's it simple as that yeah, but Horn of Green, like, you may be an anomaly, right? Or, like, you're in the serious minority. So it's like, you're in the serious minority because most people don't care about any of that. They're like... like <laughs> I'll just go play something else. People leave because they have a short attention span and always want something new. I disagree because Counter-Strike's been the same game for 20 years. People love that game. Love Counter-Strike. Hell, I love Counter-Strike. But this also goes, it, they all go hand in hand, chat. Like, people want to play a game because they they start getting better. You start seeing results, right? When you're playing more. But how do you see results and how do you gauge whether or not you're actually getting better when there's a lot of times where you just get nailed because of unlucky things that happen to you? Not everyone's a grinder and not everybody's, you know, got all the time in the world to play a certain game. It, it, it's all, it all is compounding, right? It all is going together. The punishment of certain things game mechanics that make it difficult because of luck 
the gimmicks that get put in the game that makes things confusing for new players you know all that stuff just kind of goes together oh god people are still in the apartments Jeez. Didn't like that poor guy. Like, what the hell was he supposed to do? You know what I mean? <laughs> what a play by you. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I just landed with the e pickup. Yeah, but here, I closed the door up there. Yeah, I opened it. Ah, oh, see, the game didn't let me hear you. I just heard the parachute. It, I think it was win. I think it was I'm the gonna, glider I'm, that masked it. Maybe. But you better win or I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna try I'm my best. Myself in the PUBG report. <laughs> you will, dude. Wait, were yeah. you in were you in the building that was um east of Roz? Yes. I saw you, dude. I was hiding in the field, bro. Oh my god, I could have run you over. Oh no, 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 no. Like I was in the blue, like you had the SK, right? Yes. GG, dude. Have a good one. GG, man. Did you just see... Was there a guy there or was that my... My charm? Dude, I saw someone like on the roof there. I almost pooped. Who else saw that? Wow. I tagged him, too. I am big fed, chat. I shot a chair. I think someone's going up this tower. Yep. Okay. It's okay, so a one here. One in here. One, two, three, me, I'm four. Fifth player, unknown. There's got to be people hiding, like, in these buildings next to each other or something. I think this guy's the last guy other than coyote in the damn tower. I'm not peeking him, dude, because he can just rip me. He's got a freaking P90, bro. Leave me alone. Oh, what? I didn't know you. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I had no idea you were in here. What the f <laughs> Oh, I'm here. Oh, this is awkward. I have the high ground, Anakin. You do, and you have a <laughs> Do you have a P90? <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my gosh, this might be a heal off, dude. It might be. <laughs> I guess we'll see who's the, we'll see who's the best healer is. <laughs> oh. The best heals win, I guess. Good luck. I think you got it. No you way. You the blue to heal first, didn't you? I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you own that guy, GG's dude. That's, I, dude, I love the stretch. tower. I love the tower play, dude. I thought if it centered on you, me. I was dead. <laughs> yeah, you headshot me on the way in. Wait, I did? In the car? Yeah, in the car, yeah. No way. Yep, nice shot. GG's. Oh, thanks, GG's dude. I thought it was going to be a three-man heal-off, dude. That would have been fun. Slow and methodical, chat. We did it. 
We did it. We've mastered the heal off now. <laughs>